Hello and welcome to today's episode. Today I thought I'd take you one step deeper into the world of Japanese interactive movie game collecting. What do you get when you combine anime, quick time events and Japanese culture? Well, you get something very much like Stral. Stral is best described as an interactive movie. It bridges the gap between watching and playing games and movies. The concept is simple, a movie plays out before you. As you progress through the scenario, a direction or action instruction are flashed on the screen. Fail to comply with the action and you lose a life. Manage to hit the instruction in time and the action continues. Stral had three official releases, the Panasonic 3DO, Sega Saturn and the Pioneer Laser Active. For today's episode I will be playing the Japanese regional release for the Sega Saturn, released in 1995. The Laserdisc editions of the game were available in Japanese and US territories. However, this game never made it to the UK or wider Europe, so this game remains largely unknown to most of us living this side of the pond. At this time, the game's nearest translation was Triad Stone. After 1994, publisher Media Entertainment published the game for the 3DO in Japan and the US. In 1995, the game was finally ported to the Sega Saturn, the game now simply being titled Stral. As you might expect with the nature of this type of game, there's not a great deal I can tell you regarding the storyline. Altogether, the action scenes can be played out in under half an hour. As I'm playing the game in Japanese, I have to rely only on fan translations of the story. The game is set up by the hero taking care of an old man who actually turns out to be God in disguise. The old man sends the hero out on a quest to retrieve seven magic stone fragments. As the stones are returned, the earth is reborn. This game is near impossible to find out in the wild here in the UK, so I had to import this one directly from Japan for around about 850 yen. For the UK that's around £5 and for the US that's around $7. Over recent months this price has been creeping up in Europe due to the low volumes imported. The game comes in a standard jewel case with spine card and manual. Even with limited Japanese language you will find it easy to play this game. So is it any good? Whilst most reviews I see of this game are quite negative, I'd like to come out and say that I find this to be a really good alternative to Dragon's Lair. The animation is fantastic. Although completed in 1985, it was shelved until 1994. So what you're actually seeing is a game intended for the early Laserdisc technology, but resurrected almost a decade later. I'm not an expert on anime, but I have seen quite a few of the earlier classics such as Akira, Fist of the North Star and Ninja Scroll. Stral would fit in stylistically very much into this era. The gameplay is of course limited and essentially the game is just one large cutscene with quick time events. The difficulty level is extremely varied. At its easiest you will fly by a whole chapter on the first attempt. For some of the levels though, the challenge can only be described as insanely difficult to the point where the game seems broken. Where you have situations of back-to-back -back sections of tapping A plus B together, the game causes quite serious joint pain after a while. I'd also like to address the visual quality of the game. It's clear that there's something not quite right here on the Saturn edition. The compression seems to have led to artifacting and the scaling process has made pixelation very noticeable in places. The 3DO edition does not seem to suffer half as much from these issues. There also seems to have been some issues in the digital transfer from the source at points. An example would be here on the ice base chapter where the saturation has caused colour blowouts all over large areas leading to a loss of detail. In contrast to the 3DO edition, the cutscenes between levels have also been downgraded to static scenes. This doesn't take away anything from the gameplay, it's just curious why the publisher didn't take the opportunity to improve on the earlier releases of the game. All this aside, I can recommend Stral if you're prepared to approach this one for what it is. Stral is a beautifully animated game with an engaging dramatic soundtrack. For the price, this game does enough to be worth picking up. 
For lovers of Japanese animation and slightly obscure titles, this is a great game and I hope I've been able to introduce it to a wider audience, particularly here in Europe. The game may be short, but importantly I did enjoy playing it. Perhaps one day Stra will have an HD remaster release, but until then we'll have to rely on our 3DO and Sega Saturn editions. As always I'd love to hear from you in the comments, especially if you've played the laser active version of this game. It's the only version of the game I've not been able to find for sale. Hello again and I hope you enjoyed today's show and thank you for the view. Remember you can always comment, like, subscribe and find us on social media sites below. Happy collecting!